Hey, what is up guys? I am Hippie. I want to welcome you back to a brand new episode of Couchcraft for you guys today. We're going to have a little bit more of a, I suppose you could call it a firmer topic today. Uh, and by that mean, by that I mean, um, I'm not going to try to really entertain you, I suppose could be the word. Uh, and I'm not going to try to make you guys laugh. Uh... I've been having a couple of people ask me to do a video about this, um, and I, I had plans to do it anyway, uh, but since people are asking for it, I decided to go ahead and do that right away today. I'm sure at this point everybody's, you know, heard about what happened in Paris last night. Um, at least that's when I had, you know, finally heard word about it, but I believe it happened sometime in the afternoon over there. Uh... In case you didn't, there was a huge act of terrorism in Paris, all over the uh, city. From a uh, soccer game, I believe it was soccer, I only heard that it was football, I'm assuming it was soccer, to a theater that was uh, attacked to cafes and all other types of buildings around the city, and over a hundred people got killed, and over a hundred people are still injured today. So, I didn't really think too much of it when I first heard about it. I, you know, terrorist acts have been happening quite a bit in the past few years, and I just didn't think much of it at first. Um, until I started hearing from a couple of subscribers, and it really started making things, I guess, come to life or make things real. I just talked to a person last night that had lost a loved one there. And I also talked to a person who is there in Paris now. Um, and from as they were able to describe it, now I'm assuming the words can't actually really describe how much is happening, but uh, things seem pretty chaotic right now. So I can't imagine what it's like to be over there and what those people must be thinking and probably the still amount of fear that's going through their mind if they're going to be in a danger zone right now or if they're at the risk for something else happening again um, and I thought I would make a video real quick just talking to you guys and basically I have a goal here I started out with a completely different type of video on this same topic I had started the video, and as I talked about it, the more and more angry I got, and it seemed that it was leading me down the wrong road that I wanted this video to come out like. So, I'm going to try again, and basically, if it'll only work for a few people, I'll be completely fine with that, but I want to try to give you some words of advice. The more and more I hear about it, like I said, I've been getting angrier and angrier, and it's been making me think these really stupid thoughts that I know have no actual effect and that won't actually work. Um, I know that a lot of people right now are saying that we need to just go into an all-out war with this ISIS. Um, but to be completely honest, I don't think that's going to work. Uh, over the history of the world, there's always been people that want to cause damage it doesn't matter like you know ten years ago I've never heard of ISIS but we heard about the the Al-Qaeda so it doesn't really matter how much we try to eliminate our threat as long as there's somebody that has the same thought pattern as these people have now it'll continue to keep going so I don't think the best thing that we could even do would be to do an all-out assault on these uh, terrorists. So, um, my goal was to try to get people thinking in the right direction. And, you know, if you were involved some way in what has happened here, you know, there was only 100 people just over a hundred people that had uh, had died when you think about 
these massive tragedies that we've had in the past that's not a huge number however it is going to affect up to hundreds of thousands of people if you think about every person that had lost somebody yesterday whether it would be their loved one their friends their family whatever it is you have hundreds of thousands of people that have been affected by this so it doesn't just affect as we may think the people that were directly involved you have people that you know have have lost people today um, or yesterday I, I apologize so we can't really just count it down to the actual numbers there's so many people that we don't see that got affected by this as well my idea was that if you were not infected by this directly instead of directing your anger towards these people try to di direct your your compassion towards the people that have lost somebody uh, try to keep your thinking pattern positive as much as you can try not to let yourself get sucked into this uh, I guess angry thought pattern that's currently happening in the world right now because that's directly what's happening um, I don't know a whole lot about this. Like I said, I, I don't read the news or watch the news. I only get what I get online. and um, I believe that America had, uh, I suppose, uh, set off some airstrikes, I, I believe, um, on some of these ISIS camps or whatever you want to call them. Um, and I guess that this was a retaliation. So, like I said, I don't know too much about it. And I still haven't heard much at this point, even. I'm going to go ahead and knock these down. But, yeah. If you can try to do anything, try to keep your... Try to keep your thoughts in the right place, I suppose. You can do all you want and think about how we could get revenge and how we could make them pay for what they've done and all these things but guys that's honestly I don't think it's gonna work I don't think it would be possible to eliminate them at this current time I don't think it would be possible to launch an all-out war on this terrorist you know they're in a country where there are innocent people we can't do what we've done in the past we can't make the same mistakes that we had made in in Japan a long time ago you have to really take this patience and allow some time to get things figured out I know there's a lot of people saying right now that that there's people angry because we haven't already started an invasion plan over in I think somebody said in Saudi Arabia and I'm pretty sure now I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that that's not where the ISIS camps that we've been bombing are even at. So you get things like this happening. Um, people are in a rush to get justice and they're in a, in a rush to get answers. And sometimes you end up making mistakes when you're in a rush. So uh, I just wanted to mention that to anyone that feels affected or anyone that feels the anger that I had felt earlier today that you know keep your cool and allow time to prevail um, and when it does then that's when things really start to happen I guess the correct way so keep that in mind today whenever you start to feel those emotions coming up or those anger feelings or whatever you want to call them whenever you feel them coming up today just keep in mind that whatever you could do right now wouldn't be a smart thing to do um, you know, I was hearing that there's a lot of people that uh, are worried about attacks in other countries. Um, I was talking to Jess today, and he lives over there in the Netherlands, like you guys know. That's actually really close to Paris. Uh, and he said he was afraid that there's going to be an attack there. And to be honest, I'm not far off from thinking that there could be one is here as well in America um, but 
I've been hearing these stupid things online about um, people talking about all Muslims are terrorists and things along these lines and that I, I suppose last night that there were some assaults that took place on Muslims here in America. And I just wanted to, hopefully you guys can keep that in mind, that not all Muslims are going to commit a terrorist act. You know, that would be as, as stupid as somebody saying that all Christians are going to cr cr commit murder like they did in the Crusades. Okay, so it's n <laughs> you can't judge a person based on their entire religion. There are crazy people in each religion. And there are people that are going to do crazy things in each religion. And we can't allow what has happened in the past or what has happened even currently with another group of people to determine whether somebody is of character or not. And I hope that you keep that in mind as well. I know it can be easy to see somebody of the same... I'm trying to see how I can word this. When you can see somebody that belongs to a group that has wronged you, I can see how it can be easy to try to take revenge on that person. But you have to keep in mind that that person hasn't done a thing to you. So, it'd be like, you know, it would be like somebody being mad at the Christian religion right now for what happened hundreds and hundreds of years ago almost thousands of years ago during the crusades you can't judge an entire group of people based on the decisions of a few and I hope that you will try to remember that hopefully throughout today uh, but yeah other than that you know I really just want to offer my condolences and the best of luck to Anyone that has felt any effect from this, um, whether it be in Paris, all over the world, here in America, wherever you were that you felt effect from this, I wish you the best of luck and my condolences for any loss you may have had. And I hope that, you know, any others that may have had the same effect, same reasoning, I suppose, that you try to do the same. Try to help out those who have, that need your help right now. Uh, whether it's your friends and family across the world, you know, just try to keep, try to keep spirits high at this time, I suppose. That's the best thing that I think you can do. So, I guess that's all we're going to talk about that, though, for now. People were just asking my opinion, people were asking me to talk about it, and I decided to go ahead and do a little bit of a video just to talk about it very briefly and uh, allow people to know what I'm thinking. But... You know, that made me think about some other things as well, about different topics. And I try to keep my personal beliefs and thoughts private, um, because I know they're not that of everybody. Um, and what I mean by that is that I try not to offend anybody by my beliefs, um, because I believe that belief systems should be a very private matter. Um, I don't think that your belief should allow you to affect somebody other li somebody else's life and I don't think that your belief should have an impact on anyone else but you and I'll describe what I mean in a second here um, you know a lot of what's happening right now has to do with different religions you have one religion that believes in this completely different thing from the other religion and so when one is a radical religion now I'm not saying that Islam is a radical religion but I'm saying right now there are currently radicals in that religion you end up with some very harsh things that happen you have this religion that thinks everything should go very strictly you have the other religion whatever it may be that doesn't believe that they think that you should have freedoms and that you should have um, you know, for instance, here in America, we just passed this uh, gay marriage bill. Bill, sorry, um, a couple of months ago, a lot of people were angry. But this brings it back to my original thing. I don't think your religion 
should be able to affect other people's lives. Now, like I say, I still have every respect for anyone who chooses their own religion. It can be a very great thing if you use it correctly. Religion, that is. Uh, religion has done amazing things in the past, whether it has been through helping those who need it or you know, keeping people off the streets or keeping people in the right state of mind or helping people through difficult times. Uh, this happens all the time and all throughout history this has happened. And I think when it works like that and when you have people like that that can use their religion in a good way and that they don't use their religion to hurt other people, they don't use their religion to make decisions in other people's lives, then it's perfectly fine and it's very healthy, I think. But when it goes to the other point where it starts to affect other people's lives, I think it's unreasonable. And I think it's stupid, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, and what I was mentioning is, uh, you know, I am an atheist. I don't believe that there is a God, and I don't believe that I will go to heaven or any of these or hell or any of these. I believe that right now, I am on the planet... And I have to make do with what I have now while I'm here. That's my belief. Like I said, I've never talked about any of my beliefs or anything before. Um, not that I remember, at least. Um, and I keep my beliefs pretty private. Like I said, half the people I talk to probably don't know that I'm an atheist. And it doesn't matter that I'm an atheist. It doesn't change the relationships that I have with people. Uh, for instance, I talk to a couple of people right now that I know are Christian. And that doesn't matter. It doesn't come up in topic. It's not a big deal. Religion can coexist with each other. But when you get a religion that wants to change the world in a negative way, such as is happening right now, that there's a religion that wants to kill the other religions that don't believe or don't correspond with their belief pattern, that's obviously a problem. So I just wanted to keep the, let you guys ponder that, I suppose. Try to keep that in mind that your beliefs can be an amazing thing, whatever religion you adopt, whatever you believe in. But just remember that whatever religion you are or whatever lack of religion you have does not give you the ability to change other people's lives. And I don't just mean this for religious people. I know there's a lot of negativity, neg I can't talk, negativity, wow, negativity around atheism because there's a lot of people that think things should change because they're an atheist. They don't want a Christmas tree on the courthouse or they don't want a Christmas tree in their mall because they're atheists and they don't believe in, 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 um, uh, Christ or Jesus or any anything so they don't want this in their public view but that doesn't matter it doesn't give you the ability to change other people's lives because of your beliefs like I say there's a lot of things that happen in our government that happen in our daily lives that even happen around me that I have no belief in I hear I hear all these things you know when somebody tells you on the street or something have a blessed day or whatever. I know there's a lot of atheists that'll say, I'm an atheist. But no, you don't. You accept it as a compliment. The person wants you to have a good day. You say thank you for it. It doesn't matter if your beliefs have a difference between what you would call blessed. If that makes sense. I just want to... Ah, man. I hope I don't get just a bunch of hate for this, though. But if I do, it's fine. I just want people to keep that in mind, what I mentioned earlier. Your beliefs do not allow you to change other people's lives. I'm going to go ahead and take a break right now, cool down a bit, and do some work on this house, try to put my roof back up, um, and I will be back in a quick second. So, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay guys, so I realize it's going to take me quite a long time to put the roof back on. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode right here. I'm going to render this video out, and while I'm editing and rendering it, then I can start putting the roof on then. Um, 
we're just going to finish this up right quick here because I have one last thing that I want to leave you guys with and I've just been thinking about it the past uh, few days actually but it brings up a lot of relevance right now I had the idea in my mind that if you allow yourself to think primitively it's going to bring a lot of unnecessary pain into your life there was a law back hundreds and hundreds of years ago that said an eye for an eye and men if a person cut out your eye you had the right to go and cut out his eye this thinking went on for a long time until somebody finally decided that they didn't want to think that way anymore that's how you get the quote an eye for an eye will make the world blind it took a hundreds of years for someone to finally think that way if you guys can hopefully think that way throughout your life we can continue to make each and every generation better and better I want you to try to keep that in mind and try to think upon that but that is going to do it though for now thank you guys so much for watching I have been Hippie, and I'll see you guys next time.